Hey, and welcome to a special uh, Tales from the Dark Side. It's March Madness time. There's also, a, there's also, if you haven't caught it, a top 20 droids list that came out on StarWars.com, uh, which we found a little interesting. Wasn't, uh, I don't think a lot of us agreed with it. But I decided to get a bunch of our friends, a bunch of people from, uh, from the show on, and we're going to break it down for you all. We're going to do brackets. We're going to celebrate March Madness, and today's the day. We got uh, the trooper that everybody knows, so that's a little bit too much. That's why he's always leaky. Leaky, say hi. Hello. Here we go. <laughs> of course, I had to have my co-pilot on this trip. He's still unboxing boxes to make sure that the fingerprints aren't on them. Solo, what do you say? What's up, everybody? If you didn't catch the Christmas special, go back and watch it. Around that time, we had this guy on. We love him. We brought him back. Stick boy, say hi. Ah, there you go. <laughs> and hey guys, if you're we... watching what What? Go ahead. Oh, I don't, I don't know who he is. Yeah, be mine. Uh, and if if if, you, <laughs> if you've been watching the normal Wednesday show, we're doing book reviews, and we've brought Jedi Johnson on for a lot of that stuff. Jedi, hey, how you doing? I feel like Alice from the Brady Bunch in here. I'm like, Pete's gonna be running the controls tonight. So if you see something go wonky, do not blame me. Blame him, Pete. Yeah, it'll be my fault. <laughs> from my comic, uh, from my bargain comics. One of the smartest men, if not the smartest man in comics. Down there, we got Steve Horn. I can't, uh, I can't live up to that. But at my bargain comics, you can get the Star Wars <laughs> Epic Collection Legacy Trade Paperback Volume One. That's Go my boy. You can get it for forty four ninety nine. Try to find it lower somewhere else. You can't. He's promoing. <laughs> this dude's promoing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then listen, if you talk about smart people in comics, you guys all know this guy. You guys all know him. His name's JJ. He's always there. He'll tell you if you're right or if you're wrong. JJ, say hi, bud. Hello. <laughs> all right. All right. So this is it. We got the brackets going on. We're going to throw up the main bracket here. We're going to kind of explain how it's going to go over. This is the first week. We have 16 and 17 going against each other, which is triple zero and BT1 versus K2SO. We have got uh, next up will be BB8 versus, was it R Pete? RX3. RX3, thank you. Uh, the left side, we got LR versus DD. Oh, Jesus. DOO. That's not good. 15 <laughs> versus 18. And then we've got the toughest match of them all. Uh, the medical droid, but it's not even the good one, versus the knockoff of BB-8. Once again, not the good one. Uh, CR versus the med droid. There you go. Okay. CB-23 is the other one. Nobody remembers that guy anyways. So <laughs> we're gonna, good luck with that one. We're going to start it off here. Uh, Solo or Leaky Trooper drew triple zero and B-1. Let's well, see we how you guys your matchup first. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a matchup. Number 16. Wow. <laughs> what happened to the volume? Did we Round sound one. Fight. All right. There <laughs> we go. <laughs> All right. We're trying not to get kicked out. So here we go. Uh, let's put up the screen. Let's see what we got. Sorry, Pete. I shouldn't be touching the controls. That's my fault. Yeah, I got it. All right. Solo Wookie. Here you or uh, Leaky. Let's go. What do you got? All right. You got triple zero. You got BT1. Right off the bat, you got two droids for the price of one. But I got to tell you, everyone loves the bad guys. They love the assassins. These are the alter egos of C-3PO and uh, R2-D2. So let me give you, first let me pitch triple zero to you. This guy has a personality matrix so toxic, they had to quarantine his personality. There's a lot of people on the show that I think people would like to quarantine their personality too, but we'll talk about that later. Hey, 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 no shots. No triple shots. zero is all, he's all bad. He's crazy. He, they actually painted him gold one time, and he shocked Luke Skywalker pretending to be C-3PO. So come on, you got to go with triple zero here. But let's let's not forget about a little BT-1. BT-1 is an assassin droid. He's got a freaking minigun mounted inside of him. He has a flamethrower. He roasted a whole room of battle droids at one point. BT-1 also comes equipped with other weapons like a barrage of thermal detonators. Everyone loves thermal detonators. I'm a trooper. I love my thermal detonator. I don't leave home without it. Let's get back to triple zero though. A couple of other things. He is the only droid in the Star Wars universe that had his arms ripped off by Chewbacca. That actually happened. Wookie, you got to, your Wookie's with me on this one. And also the first time he met Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and um, Princess Leia, he, he called up Dr. Afrin and said, hey, can I shoot these uh, guys? Can I shoot these rebels? And then uh, last thing, 
you know, C-3PO, he's always like, oh, I'm a pro girl. I speak all these languages. When Triple Zero introduces himself, he introduces himself by saying, I do etiquette and torture. He is his, <laughs> he was programmed in torture. So I, that's, that's about it. That's Triple Zero BT1. Okay. So here's how it's going to go. We're going to take votes. So what you can do is uh, in each round, you can go in there, say the name once, twice. If you put it in the comments live, he gets a, point, a couple points for it. Put in comments underneath, gets a couple points on it. And then on Sunday, we'll do a reveal of, of the overall winners because we're also going to vote for it because we don't want it running away. If you just don't like the person or you want to take shots at somebody, like he just took it. I'm not going to tell you who he took shots at, but you want to do that and just vote against them automatically. You can do that too. It doesn't matter. It's all for fun. But hey, let's get it up here, Pete. I think it's about time uh, y'all lose. So <clears throat> if you could. All right. So I got K2SO. We did not rig this. They just gave me the best droid overall. K2SO is arguably, no, it's unarguably the best droid that they've come out with in the last decade. Nobody cares about any droid. Nobody cares about BB-8. Nobody cares about uh, uh, RO-20693572. Nobody cares about any of those other droids. The only droid they actually care about is K2SO. He was an original droid. He wasn't like IG-11, who was a knockoff of IG-88. He wasn't like, oh, Triple Zero, who was just like a uh, shinier black version of uh, C-3PO. Mind you, too, that triple zero is just a chip he's not even like a real protocol droid they just took a chip and put it into a protocol droid he's not even a droid he's just a chip so get rid of him bt1 is just a joke anyhow k2so has also been in the best movie that we've seen in the last 20 maybe even 30 years of star wars uh it definitely was because of him his toys are just out of control you get black series with them you get this a lego build a figure you also you got the bandai toy they had a hot toy that's still really expensive he's great for you speckers out there all you people that love spec guess what he's going to be a tv show and this comic's really pretty affordable at the same time too and comes with tons of variants he's got a great sense of humor he was everything they did wrong with C-3PO where it's like, oh, the odds are da-da-da. Yeah, he tells you the odds are that, but then he tells you in the real life, like, hey, at the same time, you're not going to do too well. Oh, one last selling point on him. If it wasn't for him, Star Wars as a whole series pretty much wouldn't make a lot of sense because he's the one that sacrificed himself to get the blueprints for the blowing up the Death Star. If that didn't happen, you have nothing. You just got Leia floating around with nothing. R2-D2 can't go, oh, I need your help. There's no C-3PO. Nobody cares anymore. Without him, nobody cares. And he did do that. He sacrificed himself because of his programming for people. So like when uh, Endor, uh, Cassian Endor was there, he was like, oh yeah, you're my buddy. You helped me out. But when Jen needed his help, and if it was either sacrificing him or Jen to make the mission complete and get these blueprints to save the whole universe of Star Wars, guess what? He stepped up. Can you say that about Triple Zero? Could you say that about C-3PO? Could you say that about any of the other droids? Absolutely not. He's the best droid out of them all. Oh, and he's the tallest and can beat everybody up. And game over. He wins. <laughs> and he's Done. the brain of the Millennium Falcon. No, he's not. That's the wrong man. <laughs> Deduct his points. All right. <laughs> who, do we got? who do we got next, Pete? Well, just remind people now that oh, you yeah. both made your case. Make sure you guys vote. Yeah, K2S. Look, I got it already. It's done. K2SO. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. All right, K2SO wins. Cool. No, he doesn't. Just keep voting. We're, we do have to give the people who watch us on playback a little bit of time to vote, too. So, yeah, there so you go. Voting, I guess in the comments? Or is that what we're going to count? Yeah, you can vote down in the comments, too. Live comments count more. Regular comments count differently. But we'll look, guys. It's my show. We'll come for whatever we want. It's going to go out pretty well. All right. All right. Good job, Leaky. Good job, man. Way to bring it. All right. Who do we got next? Let's see what the thing is. Pete, bring back up the bracket. Oh, the bracket. No, no, no. No, it's all right. Do that. I like Let's that. Let's look at the bracket so we know. All right, well, we'll fine. Fine. Yeah, just do that. All right. So it's number 13. That's Dick Boy with BB-8 verse. Our match is e. Fight. All right. Good luck, guys. All right. Let's get rid of that. All right, Sticks, you're up. Oh, I'm first. Okay, great. Listen, BB-8, he's all over the place, right? Astromech, <laughs> yep. A-Series helped, uh, helped the Resistance. Yeah. Hey, you know, say what you want about those uh, new movies. 
they 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 made their money. They did they did all right in my book. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to some of these other droids out there, he's got a lot of figures and uh, other other sorts of paraphernalia that you can bit, get with uh, BB-8 on it. And you can't say that about uh, some of these guys, especially the one I'm going against here, uh, DJ. <laughs> He's only got a couple, and most of them are exclusives to the Disneyland. What's up with that? You can only get certain ones, certain places. BB-8's all over the place. You, Ooh, you can get them wherever you want. Good. You know, Black Series, he comes with another figure. It's not just BB-8. It's a figure of either Ray or Poe Dameron or, or whatever. He, he, he He's out there. He's ready to help. He's been in TV shows already. He's got other appearances. Uh, resistance, you know, he's out there. I like that. I like that. There's a good value with a good value pick. I like that. That's great. <laughs> he, you went the a, value route. You could, he's definitely noticeable. Everyone knows who he is. You know, some of these droids, you'll go, I've heard it already. Who is that droid? Oh, wait. I know that one. That's BB 8. He, Oh, he propped it out too. <laughs> with the props. That's good. That's good. That's BB funny. Give me your vote. There. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'll That's give you one thing. He did have the cool lighter thumbs up, you know, in uh, episode seven. Now hey. I'll give you that moment was good. That's it. I got That's the Spiro good. toy. It's cool too, man. He does have some cool toys. He's it right with that. He comes with some cool toys, man. All right, Pete, you're up, buddy. We got some cheering already. They want, um, hey, alrighty. they want to see what you could do with them. Well, I got the last droid on the list. Marco couldn't even remember his name when he was running down the bracket. <laughs> RX-3. I know you might be asking yourselves, who is RX-3? I ask myself that very same question. But I'll tell you this. Star Wars Galaxy. Everybody wants to go there. You haven't been to Disney yet. You want to go now. And you want to go see this guy, RX-3. He's the droid welcoming you there at the droid depot. He's got some figures. They may not be sold everywhere, but, you know, they're out there. There's a Star Wars Black Series. He's even got a pop. He's in a comic book. You can see him here in the bar scene on this Galaxy's Edge 3 with Hondo. And who doesn't love Hondo? Yes, I'm going to lean on Hondo to try to get some sympathy because I've got to deal with RX-3. So... Hondo's pretty cool. He's hanging out with RX-3. You got the Black Series. And look, it's got that special little, you know, collectible. It's not easy to find. You can only find this, I think, at Target Special. Maybe they had them. I don't know. But this is a limited, a limited Black Series. People love that. And people love Pops. I don't collect them, but some people do. And he's even got a Pop. Not a lot of the droids and not all the droids get those, but RX-3 did get one. Now, I know I've talked about Galaxy's Edge because, again, he's there. But he also goes by the name of RX-24. And if you don't know who that is, old school Star Tours, before there was a Star Wars theme park, he was there running that show. So I get like kind of a twofer because he's kind of a twofer droid. You're getting 24 and you're getting three. He's shown up on shows. He was even on Rebels, Star Wars Rebels. It was episode three, Droids in Distress. You can see a little bit of RX-3, you know, showing up there. Now, I don't have any movies to give you. Not a lot of t-shirts and other merchandise to sell you on RX-3, but... Come on. he's He welcomes you to the theme park. He's a theme park droid. And probably the best one there is. Everybody loves the Hall of Presidents, so why don't you love the droid welcoming you to the theme park? <laughs> oh, did, did Stick Boy have a comeback to that or not? Hey, I thought that was good. You guys both did a good job. I, I mean, to say, I mean, I love that droid on Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> I mean, really yes, great. you do. I yeah. will take that yeah. kind of sympathy as well. Yeah. I like how you you threw out the Hondo thing, but then you come back hot with like legacy stuff. Just like, hey, if you haven't seen it, go over to uh, uh, Renovision. Check it out. He did something on Legacy with uh, Drug that's coming out. Go check out his video. It's really cool. So make sure you guys are subscribing and liking over there at Renovision too. All right. And then he pulled out the big guns with the Hall of Presidents. I was like, that's not fair. I don't know, man. That's a tough fight. So once again, don't forget. Yeah, and hey, look, leftover is trying to help you out. He's like, he's a DJ, bro. You, you almost <laughs> sold out everything. I, I think you should get my for that, but it's all right. It's all right. That was a good one. You guys both did a great job. Cool. I gotta he, start getting the next one ready. All right. So make sure that we get once again, make sure that you're voting both in live chat. You can vote as many times as you want in different rounds. It doesn't really matter, dude. Uh, and then also vote. Uh, man, that was good. 
You guys came. I even forgot my prop. I had a prop too. <laughs> Stick. I should be better. Stick Boy's only on here like six times a year. I'm in here. I had the whole like a K2SO like mask going on. <laughs> I completely forgot. Sticks out there like got the thing. It's playing music and doing everything else, dude. Oh my gosh, man. That's great. All right. Uh, Pete, are we ready for who is next? Oh, I see. We'll hit the oh. bracket. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we got, we got Jedi, now we got Jedi Johnson and, we, and we've got JJ, two heavy hitters in this one, guys. I don't know how. And that, by the way, you say the you got the worst droid. <laughs> say you got the worst droid. D O and freaking uh, C R twenty three. Let's not lie. See, <laughs> See, that's how bad of a droid that is. And Steve Horde, God bless him, comes in here and has to swing with that. We should have just. I don't. We hey, we didn't mess with the lineups. We'll be okay. I know there's a question we'll okay. earlier. I know there's a question earlier. Easy about where IG-88 was, and let me just refresh. This is not our list we use for the bracket. This was StarWars.com's list, okay? Not ours. This would definitely – this definitely is not my list. I'll tell you that. All right, let's go, Pete. <laughs> let's get him going. What do we got here next? All right, we got L337. That is Jedi Johnson versus Dio. <laughs> Round one, fight. Okay, so the yeah, Jedi Johnson here. So I got L337, a.k.a. L3, a.k.a. Buffy. Uh, she is not a villain uh, by any means, but this this girl has a bad attitude. And, yes, I said girl. She's one of only two of the droids on the list that is identified as a female. And in honor of National Women's Month, which is March, <laughs> nice. she is uh, representing uh, she is the most free-spirited of any of the droids. Uh, she is a droids rights advocate, and she was a co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon with Lando. Uh, she was originally created uh, from protocol droid parts, uh, and when, when her creator was cleaning her, left off the restraining bolt, and she went to town because she thinks freedom is priority, freedom's ultimate goal. She starts upgrading herself with uh, parts, from uh, the shop, uh, including um, the torso of an astrotech. Uh, she, she wanted to be more human-like, so she used protocol parts probably for her extremities, uh, R3 series astro droid uh, for her brain, as well as some espionage uh, downloads and things like that. Uh, she is, like I said, she's, she's an advocate for droids. Uh, in fact, uh, when she fell, uh, at the fight of Kessel, she was uh, uh, going down, I believe, four droids uh, in some way. I can't remember exactly how, but uh, I, I, what most people should know after that is after she fell at the Battle of Kessel, she was uploaded as, as the nav computer into the Millennium Falcon. So in the long run, that is her legacy that's going to be hard to beat for any other droids out there. Because we all know the Millennium Falcon is iconic. It is Star Wars, and she is the Millennium Falcon. Uh, in fact, the iconic, uh, way before she was introduced in any of the comic books and uh, movies, uh, you remember C-3PO's line to Han, where uh, C-3PO says, Sir, I don't know where your ship learned to communicate, but it has the most particular dialect. That was from Empire Strikes Back. That was uh, L3. Given on attitude, Han attitude. You know, uh, the nav computer has some uh, ill-timed, uh, humorous uh, times when she wouldn't work, and I think that was a an fu to uh, Han because you know she was there when Han was given C three PO, uh, you know, dissing C three PO in the cockpit. She was there. She was listening. You can't tell me that that ain't related. I know better. And. We already went through her first comic appearances and all that stuff in the slides, so I won't rehash those. She has some cool toys. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is her first comic appearance was not in Solo. It was actually in uh, Lando Double or Nothing uh, comic book. Uh, I think it was issue one was her first one. She has some black series. And lastly, she, she was in video games. She was, you know, she was has some trading cards. She's, she's all over the place. Uh, know it or not, you have to look for it. There's even uh, active bidding still for her products, for her listings on eBay. If you go look, there is active biddings. People want this droid, and you need to vote for her. Lastly, uh, since she is a droid's advocate, I'm sure she would have nothing bad to say about uh, D, was it, zero, 00, whoever her opponent is. I'm sure <laughs> she would welcome him in and, uh, you know, 
let him rub her feet or what? Well, wait a minute. No, he ain't got no arms, so no ain't no feet rubbing going on. So, yeah. So there you go. Uh, I rest my case. <laughs> shots fired. I'm like, Savage. Good job. That was good. All right. Let's put JJ on the clock. He's got a next uh, good job, Jedi. So I'm going to try to uh, deliver this without bashing this droid at the same time. But Okay. So... so Dio comes from everyone's favorite movie, Rise of the Skywalker. It was clearly <laughs> the best Star Wars movie ever. Okay. And, you know, it's made basically to look like the spy versus spy character and act like a duck. So you got that going for it. And on top of that, you know, they did make a remote control toy out of him, which I just found out today. So that's kind of cool, I guess. But uh, he was once owned by. Is it Ochi of Bestoon? I think is how you say it. And, and I'm like Marco. Yeah. I can't pronounce that very well. So uh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. You but, got um, it. So owned by Ochi of Bestoon. So he was owned by a Sith assassin at one point, you know. And when he was owned by that, he stored up a whole bunch of data on the Sith. So he's got like blackmail material on the Sith. And that's pretty much how the movie evolves. If you've seen it, uh, he goes through there and basically he gives them the location. So. He is solely responsible, in a way, for the end of Rising of the Skywalker. Rise of the Skywalker. <laughs> so, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> not really. Zero point without zero. him, without him and his MacGuffin plot, Minus. that movie would have never finished. <laughs> but well, there you go. So you're saying, wait, is your argument that without this? I'm sorry. Pause this. Is your argument that, or don't pause it because I think he's buying time. Is your argument that? If it wasn't for Do, we'd still be watching those terrible movies. Yes, exactly. See, <laughs> winner, winner. Just give me yeah, your vote. Everybody, you. give me your vote. Even beyond that, if you're clearly a J.J. Abrams fan, you know he uses J.J. Abrams' voice. The the nerdy voice you hear is that of J.J. <laughs> Abrams when Do speaks. Wait, wow. are you trying to lose J.J.? What's going on? Yeah, now you just no, 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 you're not you're not like, These are the positives of. J I mean, these are you know there was so much lens flare around him. You. You know, he was so shiny all the way there. I think JJ's got money on L three. I think he's throwing this. <laughs> he the problem is like he came out. If he would have ended with like, if we didn't have this droid, those movies wouldn't have ended. I think he could have won it. I think he really. But then he goes back to like. Uh, I was about JJ's to vote for it. Yeah. You got to vote for him if you're a JJ Abrams fan. That's that's all. He has. Is there such a I'm thing? Sorry. Yeah, uh, no. all those JJ uh, Abrams fans. He's gonna pull those votes down, and he's gonna squeak out a victory here. I feel like hey, you're gonna you're gonna get all those Trekkie Trekkies voting for him. Yeah, I'm gonna get so it. much hate mail from this. <laughs> good, good. Then I'll be I'll be. It's not gonna be me anymore. I, <laughs> please send all your hate mail to JJ, so I'm not the only one getting it anymore. Dude, this is awesome. This is good. Hey, the comments you guys are killing it in there too. Thanks for voting too. Make sure every round you guys give us a couple of votes, whoever you think's best. Um, actually, we're gonna take a little pause real quickly because yeah, we got I'll some pause. important news. We got some very important news coming out. Um, actually, Drew, you know, he's a friend of the show. He's a friend of the channel. Reached out to us from Wanted Comics. You know, Drew, last one he put out, one of my favorite characters, Marshan Roa, the new group. I know everybody likes this. I know they want these virgins and everything else. We're going to do something special oh, yeah. right here. We're going to, you guys, all the comments we get, we're going to put them in the randomizer. We're going to give away the virgin. We're going to give away comboed with the regular two. You're going to get both. We're going to give a pair away. So keep going through this. We'll probably do it after the next round. Make sure you give the comments down there. Make sure you do the voting. Make sure you're going both in the live chat and the other chat. But here's some more important news on Sunday. I know we usually do Clone Wars. I know usually there's about 200, 300 people of you that watch that with us. We appreciate that. But this week, this week we got something real special. Juan Comics is coming out with a new cover for the High Republic number five. And we're going to actually present it on that show. That's where the reveal is going to be. And we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to review one episode of Clone Wars, but we're also going to do a little bit of clips over from Pete's show. We're going to do some other fun stuff over there. So come over there at Sunday, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Check out what's going on. We might actually have a giveaway there too. Uh, so we'll see you there. We might have some special guests, all right? Uh, what else do we got, Pete? Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Comments oh, yeah. have been looking How good. Do I win those books again? I just you got don't, Solo down Wookie. Below. See, Solo Wookie, keep telling me. Listen, this is the thing with you, Solo <laughs> Wookie. You can't, these guys, they don't give us the books. They give us to give it away to the people, okay? That's the agreement. We don't get to keep <laughs> these people. people. Wait a minute, yeah, Marco. You I, pay I, for I, it. I, I, thought, I, I, I thought I clearly heard you say that um, whoever loses tonight gets a book. So I think Solo's... <laughs> Really in the running for that. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. 
Solo needs more points. Behind Solo and his. It's on now. It's on now with, <laughs> <it's> on <laughs> now with your little red marble horn. I let's just go gotta say, now. wait, hey, let's go through some of this first half though, because there was definitely some, there's definitely some heat coming out of here, right? Like, I get it. You got Vicky. You got the two. E I can't even talk about it because I'm gonna knock you again. You got the two easiest characters, and I beat you with the best character. That's all I'm gonna say about that. One. But then when you come back, dude, I, I really thought when you had Pete, Pete was going there for a while, threw up the Hondo, didn't expect that to come. And how do you protect uh, BBA? Well, you just use it as it's very popular with kids, and he's not going anywhere. That's amazing. That was a great thing. Then you got Jedi coming with straight fire. And JJ, you had it. You had it. In the last five seconds, you blew it. You said, well, if we didn't have him there. You did the assassin thing, kind of cool. You said we had it there, and then you gave it away with, yeah. But then you hit him up with the star flare. Now, the last two are going to be really interesting because there's been a lot of back and forth going on this, and I haven't let these two get into the ring with each other yet. But I'll tell you this, Solo Wookie, he thinks he's got a home run on this one. He doesn't even think there's a shot that it could go. But I'll tell you something, Steve Horn, the smartest man in comics down there, my bargain yes, comics, yeah. he's got something coming. He's got something cooking. I talked to this man about once. How many times a week? Five times a week? Almost once a day. At least, really, yeah. Really, really do. I, and, I, and all I, ex I expected a good fight out of this one. I, I, Hey, I will yeah. not sit here and tell you that Steve Horn is going to be a pushover in any way, shape, or form. He's going to bring the heat. I have no him. doubt. No <laughs> doubt. People I might and, talk and, to the and, most. And YouTube, Solo like. has, has two Star Wars characters in his name, so like... I'm at a clear disadvantage, you know? Oh, you see what he's doing? You see yeah. what he's doing? He's acting I mean, like he's going out here and punching up. Yeah. We'll see. We'll no, see what happens. Trying to get the sympathy vote no, already. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, Pete. <laughs> it's getting hot. Let's get it going. All right. So it's uh, 2-1-B. That's the medical droid because there's more than one medical droid. Versus uh, CB-23. For those people, for those, for those people, that's the resistant droid. Good luck. Good luck. All right, give it to him. Who's up first, Solo? Yep. All right, guys. Now, come on. Let's just face it. This is the medical droid. How do we know that? Because you see him first appearance in Empire Strikes Back. Who's he saving? He's saving Luke. And who's he always saving? Everybody. This droid saves everybody. He literally put together Vader. Literally put together Vader. Now, come on. If that's not a clear fit win, I don't know what is. But I'll explain more. He was a, a great droid. You see him everywhere. You see him in movies. You see him in the cartoons. You see him in the comics. You, you, there is no form of media that Star Wars has that you don't have this droid in it. We got toys. We've got Legos. We've got all kinds of uh, the... Uh, Role-playing games, the RPGs, the board games. He's everywhere. He's in video games. He's in comics. He's on the cover of comics. Is that Red Marble on a comic cover? Do they have a Red Marble comic cover? I don't think they do. And what's that Red Droid's name? CB Knockoff 2585-62? I don't even know. He looks like something out of a big giant arena in Brazil. We don't even go and play that sport. You know why? Because it's not a real sport, especially with the big red ball. This droid is the droid. And when you see books that literally say Star Wars Essential Guide to Droids, not this might be some droids, Essential Guide to Droids, and he's on the cover. You know why? Because he's essential. Without this droid, Luke doesn't have a hand. Without this droid, we don't get half of the people we get. Why? Because he's a lifesaver. You can literally injure, cut things off, and maim characters in Star Wars. Then what do you do? Well, of course you send in 21B because you still need that character. He is a true lifesaver and keeping the Star Wars saga alive. Period. <laughs> Nicely done, Solo. I would actually... Uh, uh, very well done. No, don't I'll even let, bring up FX7. You just shut up. I'll let Steve Horn go. I'll let Steve Horn go. Because there's something you said that was wrong there. All right, Steve, go ahead. There's a... Okay. 
So, so Solo talked about two one B, and there's a there was a lot to say about two one B, but I think that's because two one B's in the past. I mean, I think one of the graphics you brought up was literally a Bronze Age comic. What what has he done lately? <laughs> CB twenty three is the future. Um, let me share a few words with you. Team member, co-pilot, feminine, ball-shaped, <laughs> warrior, <laughs> escape artist, handy, an origin shrouded in mystery, under-merchandised, maroon and turquoise, <laughs> easy to draw. These are qualities that we rarely find in people, much less in droids. Yet we are lucky enough to have all those qualities in a single droid, CB-23. And those are just the current qualities we know about. Wait until the full potential of CB-23 is unleashed in new animated streaming series and movies that feature CB-23 in the prominent role that she deserves. Now, when we first meet CB-23, BB-8 is already threatened by the droid's pushy manner. Well, what BB-8 deems pushy, I deem assertive and bold. <laughs> Who has to tell the insecure BB-8 not to worry that she could never replace BB-8? Poe explains that CB-23 is just on loan from the resistance. Just on loan from the resistance? That sounds um, pretty convenient. We never learn CB-23's origin story. And why don't we? Because Disney and Lucasfilm are saving that epic tale for the future. <laughs> and here's what I've learned from reliable sources at the media giants. Now, if you don't like spoilers, you may want to mute your volume at this time. Okay, I'll, I'll give you He's one, two, spoilers. three seconds. Okay. Spoilers. Okay. Spoilers. Okay. So, okay, spoiler, spoilers on. Okay. Poe's parents, Shara Bay and Kes Dameron, they have been heavily featured in Star Wars comics ever since their debut in Shattered Empire in 2015. In fact, I've been reading in the past few months, their love story continues to play out in the current Star Wars issues in 2021. And that is no accident. Um, Bay is a pilot and Kes is a pathfinder. Uh -huh. They will have prime roles in many of the upcoming streamers and movies. Though many believe Carrie Beck, the vice president of animation and live action development at Lucasfilm, was the inspiration for the CB23 name, that no, that's just what they're telling you. That's what they want you to believe. <laughs> it's going to be revealed that the C is a der derivation from the K in Kes Dameron's name, <laughs> and the B comes from Bay, his mother's maiden name. Furthermore, 23 is the total number of letters in Kess and Shara's full names, plus the number of letters in Yavin, where they raised Poe. So yes, you heard it here first. CB3 is actually the beloved droid of Poe's parents, unbeknownst to him. So when they take their roles as major players in play and streamers and movies, their droid will play a prominent role. When we see CB23 on the big screen in the years to come, she will become the ball droid of choice to throngs of Star Wars fans. Over the years, over the years, we have seen BB8 oversaturate the licensed product market, sadly sitting on overstock shelves of stores like Big Lots and Ollie. Yeah. In contrast, the selection of CB23 merch is limited. But what little exists proves the love of fans and collectors. CB23 Galaxy's Edge Remote Control Droid sells for upwards of $200, and action figures sell for nearly $40. So, oh. um, so yeah, exactly. <laughs> CB23 for president. CB23 is the droid face of the Star Wars future. Dude, I told y'all. Wait a minute. Still going, still going. Wait a minute. Here's the mic. Mic drop. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, my God. I told you he's the best and he came to play. Uh, I was going to correct the fact that uh, 
just just to put this little tad bit in there for you, it wasn't actually uh, TB1. Not that that's going to make a difference anymore after that thing. But it was Do not we even needed more rounds. I think yeah. CB23 just won I, the whole thing. I thought I was going to be able to win this one with a walk off, but I it, no, dude. This is like I, I'm glad I'm not in his round. I'm sorry, Solo. Like, you should. What are we doing for the next? What are we doing for the next two yeah. to three weeks? Because uh, it's over. Yeah, it almost does. makes me want to go back and watch Resistance again. Almost. I feel like my <laughs> T16 just got shot down by the by a friggin' you know the Star Destroyer. Like that wasn't even that was that Steve, was good, really man. That was him. impressive. Well, I, was like, expecting I have, I have great train. sources like uh, you know Daniel RPK and whoever else is like you know. I mean, I love I mean, the conspiracy theory. Comicbook.com. I mean. 4chan, 8chan, yeah. It's you went to all the dark sides yeah. of the web. You went to Bleeding Stool and like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. like a CB4 reference. Your, uh, you Maybe a Michael Jordan solo. numbering, but, but no. Yeah, this is all really. happening, no doubt. I Steve, thought I, I haven't have... seen a thrashing that bad since I watched Eight Mile in the Eminem rap battle. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta yeah, be honest, that, was, that really that was. Well, I'm saving that, that for next good. week. I'm saving my rap skills for next week. We just got Cheddar Bob. You just got Cheddar. Yeah, I mean, like that. Geez. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I actually had some stuff ready to go. Like, hey, just to let you know, because I thought that was the worst droid. I thought there was that one. I mean, I, anybody, raise your hand if you didn't think CB23 was, there's no shot. That, that's a hard one, man. I I was, I. Yeah, dude. I th- What you came with that was, was good. Ridiculous. That yeah, was really that was, good. That was, you know, that was really good. Conspiracy well, when, in doubt, when in doubt, make shit up. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you used math. You use conspiracy theories. Yes. Uh, well, I know that's like what, what, that's what Solo likes, and I know he used, he used logic. <laughs> he at one point used logic, then used merchandising. <laughs> he, he, he then did his foremost merchandising and selling. He put those two together at one point, took mm. shots at every other droid here secretly, <laughs> like just shots. <laughs> then went up and kicked BB-8, just like just drop kick BB-8 for oh, no yeah. reason. He and had he BB-8. Just- just he already he just won. created CB twenty three, the uh, greatest origin story of he, a droid ever. <laughs> hey, Steve, uh, yeah. Steve just emptied the clip in, in solo. I don't think he's got nothing left. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was impressive. That was good. That, I'm, I'm glad. I, I need a two one B now. Nothing left. <laughs> oh my god! You know what's bad is there's like four of us in earlier, and I was like, oh, it's all right. I don't even have to study for this. I'm just gonna go off the hip, and I'm gonna win the whole thing for the day. Uh, and no, Steve won it. No. If you don't vote for a beat, I don't see whatever. Dude. No, All right, get wherever you want, though, put it down in the comment section. Put it down below. Now, let's explain how this is going to work next time. Uh, Pete, could you bring up the graphic? Which graphic? The one of the whole, the whole nine yards. Yeah, the whole thing. Where the hell is it? There it is. Very good. I'm glad we're on top of this with technical. Okay, so whoever wins of the 16 and 17th will move on to the number one. Eight, nine will be next week, too. Four will be there. Whoever wins between 13 and 20 will be there. The people oh, between. Three. The people between 16 and 17 are going to have to keep their own droid. 13 and 20, the winner there will have to keep its own droid. Everybody else will get a redraw, okay? So on Sunday, we'll do the redraws. Then the next week, we'll do the other side. I know it seems confusing, but believe me, when we show you, it's not going to be as confusing. Hopefully, we can come up with as much good stuff as this one was. This one was fun. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, does anybody want to... Does I anybody? See, uh, want- I see CB23 is going up against R5D4. He's really going to blow his motivator. His I just motivator said, is really going to blow. Hey, That's a ways off. Could you listen? To, they have Chopper, which is is a good droid. Like no, but levels- CB23 goes against R5D4 next. I don't. Know. Well, that, that that's no, okay. No, no. I mean, I have additional sources, so yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think he's good. Listen, he is the man. Like people don't believe it when I say all these nice things about Steve. Like so you see him coming in here, he looks like he's out on the golf course all day long. You don't think he's really got it going together? <laughs> no, nah, he comes to play. They don't believe me. Uh, they don't. When they say who's the smartest guy, Steve Horn. I tell everybody they don't believe me. I don't know no. what to tell them. No, I, I, I knew there was going to be. I didn't think he was going to go that deep. Like that was deep, deep. But he always either. he yeah. always brings to research. He he's yeah. good on the research. I knew I was going to have a battle. I just didn't think it was going to be that. Depth I didn't even know Poe Dameron had parents. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. I, I had no I idea. Thought he had a, a, a love droid. You should watch a show called Tales from the Dark Side. We might have brought up their first appearance a couple of times. Um, 
<laughs> hey, and then like you drop kick sticks over there, bringing in props. He's the first guy to bring in props. He does the BB. He doesn't need the shade on it. You came up, yeah. He came over here, hit the shade up there too. I like it. I like it. Yeah, no, it was no, very well no. done, everybody. Oh, he even brought the. Geez, he's even got glass on it. Wow. Yeah, that's an okay ball droid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's not the ball droid of choice here. Not anymore. Not, <laughs> not anymore. anymore. That's not you the just ball droid you're story. looking for. He just and he went all over spec too. You thought like he he came out with the like CB twenty three. You know they're going to use him because he's got expensive toys and stuff. And you figured, oh yeah, cool. Kind of the same route they did with BB-8. Like he's all everywhere. You know, kids are going to love him. Yeah, but, but they're he, all in the discount rack, man. All those toys are in the discount rack. They're at Ollie's. Big lots. Yeah. He did. Then he, he went to Ollie's. Hey, they're, all all the, they're on the clearance pegs. <laughs> right, but we all buy that not, and sell it five, ten years. Not later, after that so. speech, everyone's going out looking for CB-23s. <laughs> <laughs> next right. week's I'm, big lot. I'm throwing mine on eBay right now. Empty. A frenzy. I'll put mine up on eBay. Yeah, put them out. <laughs> put them out there. Yeah, a new hot toy. All right, everybody. Well, good job. Thank you for everybody in the live chat. You guys were great. I know we had a lot of supporters in there, especially from the Johnson family that showed up. Uh, good job, Jedi. Um, all right. The votes are going to end here in two minutes in the live. Make sure you can still, even if you voted in live, you can vote underneath. Do that. If you get in both, if you get in one, we're just going to throw everybody. Everybody who votes, we're going to throw you in a little thing like you normally do with the hat. I'm going to put your name in there. Pull you out, you could win something. Please, if you're in Canada, uh, dude, look, man, you can play if you want. But the last time I somebody won, I shipped them out there for forty dollars, and it still hasn't gotten to them yet. And that was about a month oh ago. God. What do you want me to do, man? Customs is that? <laughs> ah, there you go, boy. <laughs> All right. There. Hey, hey, everybody! A uh, big shout out to Pete. He's the one that did all the graphics oh, yeah, and all I the cards on yeah, this for us. I mean, he knocked it out of the park. Please go and and jump on Pete's channel and give him a subscribe and thumbs up. Yeah, give us give us where you're at, Pete, so we can all make sure and follow you. The, the right work you did here was outstanding, brother. I can't even thank Excellent. you enough for all your hard work. We'll put the link down there. Make sure you guys go over to Vision. Make sure you guys sub, dude. He's doing great stuff over there. And I think we got some toy stuff that I might come help him out with, too, because I enjoy it. Yeah. All right, everybody. Also, speaking of toy stuff, I still got to get that Rock Lords video done. Oh, dude, there's a dino thing I want to do now. We'll talk about it later. All right, we're out of here, guys. <laughs> there's so many cool things we want to do. Guys, we love you. We appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. I do appreciate having all my friends here, dude. It's a great community that we have here. I really do appreciate it. Uh, everybody else, give us a thumbs up. We're going to do more rounds of this, too. So just know, like, we all didn't know each other originally, but we all want to be here. So you can do it, too. All right, we're out. May the Force, force be with you. Force push that like and subscribe. And may the Force be with you. Always. 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 Back up.